Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Delta GP TV. I'm Brett, and my hands is We Live Number Two out this week from Aftershock Comics. Um, yeah, if those, if you see my review of the first issue, you know I was gushing about that. So it's written by Inaki Miranda and Roy Miranda. Uh, Inaki, Inaki Miranda <clears throat> is the artist, Ava de la Cruz is the color, Dave Sharp is the letter. So. The story is is generally um, humanity has gone through a whole bunch of calamities. Um, you know, clearly the Earth is trying to kill off humanity. Um, they get a message from somewhere in outer space that basically says like we are going to save a bunch of kids. They need to be at this lo these locations at this time to get picked up. Uh, so this is a story of a group of kids trying to get to that location. Really simple concept. Uh, the first issue was a. Uh, Tearjerker. It fo uh, focused on a young kid named Hototo, his older sister, who's uh, guiding him as they try to get to their location um, with a bunch of other kids on a bus. Of course, that doesn't go right. Um, what a shock. So the second issue is uh, the journey is continuing, and it's really hard to review this one without spoiling. Um, but by the end of it, it is clear who the focus of the comic is. Uh, and what goes from a very large group of people to get to know um, the, the the comic narrows down to like here are the here are the key characters that we really should care about, um, and it gives a little bit more history on two of them. So you know it's slowly building out these characters. It's not just Hototo's journey, which is what I thought in the first issue. Um, the second issue expands it a bit and and, and introduces us to two more of the uh, the individual. So I, it's clearly um, narrowing it down as to like here here are the people to pay attention to, which is I think interesting. Um, it's not a direction I thought it was going. Like I really thought this was like Hototo's journey and that other people would kind of like be in and out of it. Um, but it, it's not. This is a it's a very different it's a much more group oriented trip than I thought it would be. Uh, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Like, this, I think it's actually a good thing is to, to make us care more about these characters. Um, the comic, again, is, is stunning. It really is just, it's a beautiful comic. Um, this one is uh, where the first issue had me say, like, had me crying, literally crying. The second issue had me pausing and just going, holy shit. It was straight up the scene from Animal House when the, when the horse dies and, and Bluto just goes, holy shit. Um, yeah, that's what I did multiple times. Uh, so it's, it's another comic that like, it gives me it, not necessarily the emotional punch, but it definitely hit me in that way of like, I reacted to it. Like this, it wasn't something where I was crying. It wasn't something where I was angry. It was just, and wasn't even shocked. It, it just got a reaction. Um, you know, that kind of like that scare from a, a horror film where you jump out of your seat and that's, you know, it's a good thing to be able to read a comic and get that sort of reaction, which is, is really cool. Um, the series continues again with its QR code, so you can go enjoy music with it. I'm not going to show that off. We're not, we're not going to show that off. Um, so there's nights nice, of kind of cool value added to all of it. And, <clears throat> I mean, like, the, the art is beautiful. It's just really cool. The colors pop. The design is amazing. Um, the characters are really cool. I mean, there's just so much to it. Um... That it's just, I mean, this is such a cool series that I want to see more of and to learn more of. And see cute Hototo with his little helmet, with his vision of the world being all cutesy. Um, it's just, a, a, it continues a really fascinating journey. And this is a series that, you know, while the second issue maybe isn't, you know, the first issue was 10 out of 10 for me. Second issue isn't necessarily 10 out of 10, but it's still like, you know, eight and a half nine somewhere around there like this is solid stuff a good amazing series um i'm really enjoying the world and where it's going and excited to see the journey from here uh especially after this issue because it feels like everything's on the table um anything can happen and uh you know we're kind of in that like walking dead of like don't get attached to anyone type of thing so that's uh that's a good thing to be able to you know sit on my seat and and really have no idea what's going on. This isn't, you know, this isn't a superhero comic where the superhero generally is going to live. Um, we, like, we have no idea what the hell is going to go on, which is, is pretty damn cool, and I'm doing my best not to spoil anything. Um, but this is this is a kind of an edgy to see, keep you on your toes uh, adventure. And uh, it's, it's such just a, a cool concept, cool view or look for everything. 
characters are really neat. Just I'm I'm looking forward to it and excited to see where the third issue, fourth, whatever it is. Like this is a series every single month. I'm I'm down. I'm completely down. Uh, so go check this out. We live number two or two. Uh, we live number one. The first printing sold out. The second printing is out soon, if not already out. Um, go pick it up if you haven't. I still think it's one of the best debuts of the year for me. Really, really cool comic. Really, really great series. Uh, so go get this. Uh, you can go get it from your comic shop. There's a link underneath this video. Put in your zip code. I'll tell if the shop's near you. No shop, no problem. We have some affiliate links. There are going to be uh, affiliate links, so we get a small percentage. By doing that, you help support our site. And speaking of support, I want to thank uh, Aftershock for hooking us up with a review copy. Thank you for watching. Now, if you're into Aftershock comics, if you're into comics in general, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy. Keep it nice and consistent. So until then, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.